So these big orchids next to me are lady orchids. They're one of the biggest orchids uh, we get in the UK. Uh, here in the south of France, they're everywhere. Again, lining the roads just like the monkey orchid is. It's called the lady orchid because uh, 16th century botanists thought that it had this dark red bonnet of petals and sepals and then this flowing white dress for a lip. I first saw lady orchids in Kent uh, on my orchid gap year and was completely blown away by this woodland glade full of, uh, of lady orchids. And here it's a very different situation because they're right out in the open. I'm on actually quite an exposed hillside here and they're just all over this hillside. So it's quite um, strange for me to see them here because I'm used to seeing them in the middle of uh, woodland back in England. Check it out, I found a military orchid. Um, it's number four, the fourth and final species that I'm working on. And uh, this is a really spectacular example. It's sort of really tall, uh, similar kind of size to the lady orchid, but completely different colors. Uh, and this one's absolutely in prime condition. It's called military orchid because um, it's got this sort of grayish pink helmet on it, the inside of which is lined with these beautiful uh, pink and purple stripes. And then the little figure underneath has a sort of a dotted front, thought to resemble uh, trench coat buttons. I actually think it looks like it's wearing pink baggy pyjama bottoms. So that's the four species. Uh, they're wonderful plants. They're all very, very different. And they are just an extraordinary group with ridiculously cool petals and a wonderful tool for teaching people about science. And so now I've covered the four species, the next video I'm going to start introducing the hybrids and talking a bit about some of the science that I'm doing and try and en enthuse new people about, about plants. I think I'm gonna leave this guy with a little grass sword. And now he's ready for anything. Ha <laughs> ha.